Hello. I pray that you are well today. Have you ever felt like just not praying? So overwhelmed, so sad, so angry, so frustrated, so empty, so tired, so exhausted? You just don't feel like you can pray. What do you pray when you don't feel like praying? How do you pray through something when it is so much the same, so much not changing? I have a tremendous promise of the Word of God. I love this Word of God. It says in Romans chapter 8, verse 26, in the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness, the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness, your weakness and my weakness. And he goes on to say this statement. We do not know what we ought to pray for. Have you ever been in that spot? We don't know what we're supposed to pray for. What, how do we pray for that person? What do we pray for that situation? What words do we use to describe that situation? What do we say? What do we do? We don't know what we ought to pray for. But the Spirit himself intercedes with groans that words cannot express. When we don't have the words the Spirit does, He intercedes when we can't. He steps in when we're not able. He steps in when our weakness overwhelms us. It's an incredible statement that God Himself is in tune with your heart. And so, therefore, when you're not able to pray, when you don't know how to pray as you ought, when your weakness is bigger than your strength, God's Spirit is consistent. In the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We don't know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes with groans that words cannot express. When you are your weakest, he is strong. When you don't feel like praying, he invites himself in that he would pray for us. You know, there have been times in my life where I didn't know what to say. There was so much in my heart, it was too hard to put into words. There was maybe so little strength. There was not an ability to put together words. But God steps in. The Spirit intercedes with groans too deep for words. God knows you. God knows when you are unable. And I, I pray for you and I pray for me. That in the midst of our lives, in the complexities of our lives, on the exhaustion of our lives, in the painful interactions of our lives, we say, God, please take this again. Please help me again. And he does. Praying through your life, praying through my life, praying when we don't feel like praying. Please pray with me. Lord God, we thank you that you know us. You know when we are weak, you are still strong. You know when we can't put words together, you, the Spirit of God, intercedes with groans too deep for words. We thank you that you help us in our weakness. We thank you that you step in in the midst of our weakness. And we ask you today, Lord God, that you would bless us precisely in what we need as we pray through our life event by event, moment by moment, experience by experience, that you, by the grace of God, would be filled to all, that we may be filled to all of the fullness of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you today. I want to thank you for your generosity and your support and your prayers. God bless you.